Monsieur le Président, ma question est pour le ministre de l'Environnement et l'action en matière de changement climatique, the Honorable Chris Ballard. Speaker, the question concerns our uh, remarkable sale of the cap and trade auction. Speaker, climate change is real. Extreme weather events, fluctuating temperatures, they all have real effects, including on human health. And our auction was recently a sellout at raising almost half a billion dollars. But Speaker, a responsible government has to have a credible costed plan. And I've actually been reviewing the People's Guarantee, Speaker, and all I can see from it is a kind of ostrich-like running away from climate change. From what I can see, Speaker, all that it does is that it guarantees... Uh, first, um, you're, you're going to have to put that one piece down because I can see that it is a prop, so I'm going to ask the member to put that down. And second of all, as I said yesterday, let's relate it to the government. You can make that short introduction, but talk about policy. Please carry on. Thank you, Speaker. I accept your advice and get rid of it right now. Speaker, every cent of those proceeds is required by law to be invested in programs that reduce pollution. And these programs that are Question. green on climate change program is improving cycling infrastructure, retrofits for hospitals, schools, and transit. Speaker, so my question is this to the government minister. Can you please explain to the House Thank how you. a successful plan is reducing pollution in Ontario? Thank you, Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to uh, the member from Etobicoke North for his passion uh, and that important question. I know as a medical doctor, uh, the member is well aware of the threat that climate change poses to our health. And as the member mentioned, Ontario generated $471 million in proceeds from our first joint cap and invest auction with the California and Quebec Speaker. This goes to show that businesses are confident in our carbon market and that the market is functioning as planned. We've seen that businesses as well as independent, ex independent experts agree that our cap on pollution is the best way to put a price on carbon speaker. Our program not only reduces pollution from businesses, it does so at the lowest price possible. In January, Speaker, the, the Independent Environment Commissioner of Ontario said Ontario's linked cap and invest program will save almost all of us money. We're proud to stand on this, Mr. Thank Speaker. You. Supplementary. Speaker, I find the Minister's answer particularly reliable, credible and intelligent. Far more sensible, far more sensible, Speaker. I find the Minister's response far more reliable, credible and intelligent than the previous money-back guarantee, which I dare not name any further. Speaker, just yesterday the Minister announced the Green On Challenge which will award $300 million to businesses, nonprofits, and other organizations for projects that will reduce pollution in the province of Ontario. It's about investing in Ontario's future and creating a fairer society, Mr. not Jim. the ostrich-like approach of others. Speaker, my question is this. Can the minister please tell the House how our plan is investing in green solutions for the benefit of Thank all you. Ontarians? Minister. Well, thank you, Speaker, and uh, a thank you to the member for, uh, uh, for Etobicoke North, uh, and I agree with everything he said. <laughs> Speaker, our plan is helping Ontarians fight climate, cha climate change and save money. Uh, meanwhile, Speaker, we are so disappointed to see the PCs refuse to take climate change seriously. Speaker, uh, the environment is too important to be ignored. Climate change, Speaker, is too important to be, uh, to be ignored. Uh, a, a plan that turns its back on climate change and leaves a $9.6 billion hole in addition to $16 billion is not one that is acceptable to this government or the people of That's Ontario, right. Speaker. We are investing in this province, Speaker, through our proceeds from Cap and Invest. We are making Thank social you. housing better and schools better.